In this next video in the series, we're going to talk about creating a graph from an equation. Now we've done this in the past by using an XY table. Gra uh, typically we would start out with an XY, set up our t-chart, choose some numbers for X, maybe a negative 1, a 0, a 1, and maybe a 2. We'd substitute those numbers into a, our values, use the order of operations, calculate Y, and then we would take these four points and graph them, connect them with a straight line, and we'd be done. Well, that's a lot of work, but it is an effective way to do it. With linear equations, however, there is a faster way. We can remember that the number that's in front of the x is called your slope, commonly referred to with the letter m. In this case, my slope is 3 fourths. That's going to tell me the direction, positive, because it's a positive 3 fourths, and the steepness, 3 up, 4 over, of my line. As for my starting point, my y-intercept, commonly referred to with the letter b, is going to be this item right here, the negative 2. This is my starting point. So I'm going to go on my y-axis, because it's a y-intercept, to negative 2. Down 2, graph my point. Now that I have a starting point, my line, whatever the slope, is essentially going to be in some direction through that point, if you can imagine. I have my slope of 3 fourths, or positive 3, positive 4, if you'd like. I'm going to go positive 3, positive 4, put my next dot. Do that again. Positive 3, positive 4, to my next dot. By the way, positive 3, positive 4 is just as good as negative 3, negative 4. You'll notice that that point lines up with the rest, and even without a ruler, I can draw a reasonably good straight line that describes my equation. So this line right here is y equals 3 fourths x minus 2. If we want to do that one more time, let's look again. y equals negative x plus 4, a different linear equation. In this case, the thing that's in front of my x is going to be my slope. Now I see there's a negative there. I don't see a number, but I also know that there's always a coefficient in front of every friction, and if you don't see it, that coefficient coefficient is 1. So that slope is going to be negative 1. That defines the steepness. It does not define where it's going to hit on the y-axis. For that, I need my y-intercept, again with the letter b, and in this case, my y-intercept is positive 4. This is my starting point. I'm going to go up to positive 4, draw my line, and now I'm going to follow a negative 1. Well, negative 1 sounds like just left. That's not really what they mean. Negative 1, you got to make it into a fraction. So it's down 1, that's what negative is. Down 1, right 1. Down 1, right 1. Down 1, right 1. Or, if you'd like to switch your positives and negatives around, you can do that in this case. You're going to get up one, left one. Up one, left one. As you can see, the pattern continues. If I try and draw this and make it nice and straight, you're going to have yourself y equals negative x plus 4. So that's how to graph an equation on a coordinate plane.